So this is my Renault Zoe. Let me talk to you about it. So this particular model, this has got a 50 kilowatt battery. It's going to give me a range of, depending on how eco you drive it, obviously, um, somewhere around 230-ish miles. Now, I am actually currently on a charger at the minute. I've run it down to about 40, no, about 37% this morning, uh, which gives me a range of, it was showing about 90 mile-ish. So I actually think I'm going to get more than what it states. Could be for a number of reasons. Um, I'm not one to, I don't like lots of heat. Of course, every time you put the heater on in here, air con, that sort of stuff, it just drains power like crazy. Um, ish. So yeah, I just drive windows open if it's hot and windows closed if it's cold. I'm currently on a public charger. Um, as you can see, I'm getting 4.7 miles per kilowatt for anybody that wants to add it all up. This is showing me it's going to take an hour and 15 minutes to take it up to 100%. We're currently at 44%, 95 mile range so far. Now, I'm actually not going to charge this to 100%. I'm actually only going to take this to about 80 possibly. Uh, the last 20% is going to take, that's the bit that's probably going to take sort of 40 minutes on its own. The rest of it's going to be pretty quick. There's the public charger I'm at, uh, Swarco. It's charging me 31p per kilowatt. I have actually driven, I'm not going to lie, I have actually driven about two mile, three, about three mile I think. From my house, I've actually driven past about four different other public chargers to get to this one. As I said, this one's 31p a kilowatt. The one that's closest to me is 65. Now, if you do the maths on that, you'll uh, quite quickly realise why I've come past them ones and come to this one. Now, public chargers in my area, there is plenty. What a lot of people don't know is, um, if you go to Tesco's, your local Tesco superstore, you'll probably notice, or may have already have noticed, there are public chargers there. Now, them public chargers are actually free to use, but they only put seven kilowatts of charge into a battery in an hour. If you're the only person plugged in, if you've got two people plugged in to the same post, uh, that actually halves it or that's how I'm finding it at the minute I've only owned this car about a week but uh yeah already I'm noticing if two people are plugged into the same post on seven kilowatt chargers you then share in so you get like 3.6 I think it was saying 3.6 kilowatts an hour so you're going to gain in an hour's worth of shopping you might gain sort of eight mile I guess something like that someone will do the maths I don't know it's somewhere around that's how I've found it to be so far so, firstly, why did I go electric? Why have I brought this car? Well, it's crazy really because during the week, Monday to Friday, I do drive, as you all know, uh, a diesel lorry. That's giving about seven to the gallon. It is terrible, absolutely terrible for the environment. Um, and that is nothing to do with why I've brought this car. It's nothing to do with environment stuff. I'm not going green. I'm not going vegetarian. Don't panic. I'm not going to just start joining the just stop oil campaign it's not happening i've literally bought this because i'm quitting absolutely quitting yes they're expensive to buy this particular vehicle a brand spanking new would have set me back about 30 31 000, uh, for the spec that it is as you've seen already it's already got eight and a half thousand mile on the clock it is an x demo people doing test drives that sort of stuff um on a 21 plate that's already why well, near enough a year old i've never owned a car this new before I'm absolutely loving it um but yeah it's just so cheap to run i've literally done a hundred and what have i done so far in a week i've done 140 mile thereabouts and it's cost me two pound 32 now i haven't actually got a home charger installed if i had a home charger installed and i was to plug it in set up a schedule on here so it will only charge when it's at cheap rate a lot of people can get four or yeah sort of 4p ish a kilowatt it's going to cost you literally pence to charge this thing every single night pence so that is the real the proper way to go really you a lot of people worry about range 250 mile to me that's a lot some people will say is that what you get i get 500 mile out of my diesel car or petrol car yes that is totally true but you, you drive these totally different to the way you drive a petrol car. 
So you'd use this for a day, go home, plug it in. That night, it will top back up what you've already used that day. So it's kind of, yeah, it, it's a lot different. Even the driving style, everything, it's totally different to normal, normal driving. So with the Zoe, they've got a thing called regenerative braking. Some of you may have heard of it, some of you haven't. I'll give you a really quick lowdown of what that is and what it does. So as you're driving along, um, there's two modes on the gear stick. There's a B mode and a D mode. D mode, as you come off the accelerator, it's just like driving a, new, uh, a normal vehicle. It, the car will just coast. Uh, but as it's coasting, you're building back. It's basically building up some power, generating power, and it's putting it back into the battery. Not loads. A, a hill of about 300 yards might give you a mile back, two mile back. Uh, but obviously, over the course of a whole journey, you can get quite a bit. Now, there's also a thing called B mode. Now, B mode is pretty cool. Uh, I am enjoying that one. So you accelerate as normal. As you're slowing down or want to slow down, you just come off the accelerator ever so gently. Still got the power or the accelerator down, but you're lifting up a little bit. And that starts regenerating power again, back into the battery, giving you a bit more, not percentage charge, just a bit more range, a bit more, um, yeah, just a bit more power, basically. Now, it's very, very, very strange driving down the road with absolutely no noise whatsoever. This thing is dead quiet. It literally makes no noise. All you can hear is the tyres rolling over stones throughout the journey. It's absolutely mental. Now, I would record it for you, but you're not going to get the full effect of how quiet it is as opposed to... I'm, I just can't record that sort of sound. Uh, I have tried, and it, it just won't work. But it's... My daughter, the eldest daughter, she says it's an awkward silence. If you turn the radio off, there's literally no noise at all. You can literally hear a pin drop. So, yeah, um, at the minute, thoroughly enjoying the car. Really enjoying it. It's build quality. We'll talk about that in a different video. Um, price, as I've said, about 30, 31,000. Sounds a lot of money, but remembering you've got free tax. Insurance is cheap. Um, fuel is dirt cheap depending on how you're how you're charging i'm actually going to start charging this at work so this isn't going to cost me a penny so the only out cost i've got over the next however long i've got the car is going to be what i paid for it i didn't pay 31 don't panic i'm not an overpaid lorry driver um i did get a considerable discount um so yeah when you look at normal cars i could have bought i don't know Something quite nice, quite prestige for that sort of money. But I'd have still been putting fuel in it every week, 30, 40, 50 pound a week. I'd have been putting, you know, paying tax. My insurance would have been higher because I'd have had a big engine. This thing, it's one price, one cost every month. That's it, done. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed these videos, let me know the car ones and you want to see a lot more about this Zoe. Um, I am actually setting up, or it's set up, uh, a dedicated channel just for this car. Um, yeah, but let me know. Let me know if you'd be interested. Let me know what you want to know. Ask me any questions. I'll answer them in the next one. So, thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Stay safe. Drive safe. Buy electric. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.